صلى الله عليك يا سيدي ويا مولاي يا رسول الله صلى الله عليك وعلى أهل بيتك المظلومين صلى الله عليك يا مولاي وابن مولاي يا أبا عبد الله الحسين يا رحمة الله الواسعة ويا باب نجاة الأمة غريب يا مظلوم كربنا يا ليتنا كنا معكم سادتي فنفوز فوزا عظيما Sahab al-Asr wa-Zaman in this night remembers what happens to what happened to Imam al-Husayn and cries and weeps. He says in Ziyarat al-Nahiya لَأَنْدُبَنَّكَ صَبَاحًا وَمَسَاءً وَلَأَبْكِيَنَّ عَلَيْكَ بَدَلَ الدُّمُوعِ دَمًا I will lament for you every morning and every night time and I will cry for you instead of tears blood in another narration in Ziyarat al-Nahya Sahab al-Asri wa-Zaman gives his salam to Imam al-Husayn in many different ways Look how he gives his salam to Aba Abdullah. He says to him, As-salamu alayk, As-salamu ala al-muhami, Bila mu'in. Peace be upon the defender with no helper. As-salamu ala al-shayb al-khadeeb Peace be upon the beard that was dyed with its blood We can have no talk about this As-salamu ala al-khad al-tariq Peace be upon the cheek that was on the sand. As-salam ala al-badan al-saniyayb. Peace be upon the body that was robbed of its belongings. As-salam ala al-thaghr al-maqru'ib al-qadib. Peace be upon the tooth that was struck with the stick. As-salamu ala al-ra'si al-marfuq. Peace be upon the head that was risen. As-salamu alayka ya Aba Abdillah. As-salamu alayka ya Aba Abdillah As-salamu alayka ya Aba Abdillah al-Husayn 
It is said that after the Imams martyrdom, the enemies came to rob the Imam from his clothing and his possessions. They robbed the body of Imam al Hussein. They robbed his shirt. They took his shirt, his turban, his sandals, and the Imam was wearing worn clothing. And even those were taken off the body of Abu Abdullah. The only thing left was a bit of clothing on the Imam. A man wanted to take the Imam's waistband, which was very expensive. After the people looted the Imam, the man says, I wanted to take it off his waist. So he placed his right hand on it. So Imam al Hussein moved his right hand and placed it on it. He said, I wasn't even able to remove the hand, so I cut it off. He placed his left hand on it and I wasn't able to lift it up. So I severed the left hand of Abu Abdullah al Hussein. I wanted to loot the trousers of the Imam. He says I wanted to to I wanted to take the trousers of Hussein. But I heard a sound of an earthquake in the plains of Karbala. The sound scared me and therefore I stopped. Then I fell unconscious. As I was unconscious, I saw the Prophet Muhammad, Ali, Fatima, and Hassan. Fatima was saying to Imam al Hussein, Oh my son, they killed you. May Allah punish them. Imam al Hussein replied, Oh mother, this man who's sleeping cut my hand. She asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala against him. She did dua against the man. She said, May Allah cut your hands and your legs and make you blind and put you in hellfire. The man says, I lost my vision, my hands and my legs. And the only thing left from her dua is hellfire. Yes, the world, world darkened for Imam al Hussein for three days. The light of the sun didn't show for three days. The people could see the stars midday as they were colliding with each other. Lady Zainab alayhi salam. Now this is time for Lady Zainab's tragedies to become more and intensify. She came out after the Imam's martyrdom, crying and lamenting for him in a sad, depressing voice. She screamed, Wa Muhammada, Sallallahu alayka maliku sama. O oh Muhammad, may the king of the sky send his blessings to you. Hada Husaynun Murammanuan Biddima Mukaddaha al Qada Maslub al Amamati Warrida. This is Hussein covered with blood and sand. His limbs are cut into pieces, and his robe and his turban have been robbed from him. وَبَنَاتُكَ سَبَايَا وَإِلَى اللَّهِ الْمُشْتَكَا وَإِلَى مُحَمَّدٍ الْمُصْطَفَى وَإِلَى عَلِينٍ الْمُرْتَضَى وَإِلَى فَاطِمَةَ الزَّهْرَى and your daughters are captives, and we complain to Allah, to Muhammad al-Mustafa, to Ali al-Murtada, to Fatima al-Zahra, and to Hamza, the master of martyrs. Until she says, may my father be sacrificed for the one 
who isn't absent, but is absent where we can home, where we do not have home, where he will return, where we can hope he will return, nor is he wounded in a way that he can be treated. May my father be sacrificed for the one who was worried until he died. May my father be sacrificed for the one who was thirsty until he departed from the world. May my father be sacrificed for the one whose beard drips with blood. Fatima, the daughter of Imam al Hussein, narrates. She says, I was standing by the tent's entrance while looking at my father and his companions slaughtered on the plains of Karbala. The horses were pounding the bodies of Imam al Hussein and his companions. Omar bin Saad called out, Allah, hal man yantadib, hal hal man yantadib ila al Hussein. Omar bin Saad called out, who will volunteer to pound Hussein's chest in back with the horses? Ten men volunteered. Lady Fatima continues saying, I was thinking of what Bani Umayyah will do to us after my father's death. Will they kill us or will they take us into captivity? Suddenly I saw a man and forcing the women to walk with the tip of his spear. Each woman was seeking refuge with the other. The women had been robbed. Their bracelets and veils were taken from them. And they were screaming, Wa Muhammada, Wa Abata, Wa Aliya. Oh, how little supporters we have. Oh, Hussein, is there anyone who will protect us? Is there anyone who will push these enemies away from us? Lady Fatima was very scared of what was happening before her eyes. She began looking right and left at Um Kulthum. She says, I feared he may come to me. As I was in this state, he came to me. Lady Fatima began running in the desert. She assumed she would flee, but the man caught up to her. She felt the tip of her spear between her shoulders, and, she, and so she fell on her face. The man split the ear of Lady Fatima and took away her earring. He left her on the sands, blood flowing on her and cheeks. When she gained consciousness, she saw her aunt beside her and crying. She said to her, get up, let's go. I don't know what happened to the girls and to your sick brother. When they came back to the tent, they found their belongings robbed and I Ali ibn al Hussein lying on his face. He wasn't able to sit because of the hunger and the thirst and the sickness. They all began crying, he cried for them. Hamid bin Muslim says, when the companions of Umar bin Sa'd lit up the woman's tent with fire, I saw a little girl, girl running, fire had caught her clothing. I came to her and I extinguished the fire, and I asked, who are you? She replied, old man, have you read the Quran? Look what she says to him, have you read the Quran? The man says, yes. She says, did you read? Read the verse for a million teams. Therefore, as for the orphan, do not humiliate him. He says, Yes, indeed, I have read it. She said, Old oh, man, I am the orphan of Abi Abdullah al Hussein. I am the orphan of Imam al Hussein. Old oh, man, show me the way to Najaf. For my aunt has informed me that the grave of our grandfather, Amir al Mu'mineen, is there. Hamid said, daughter, that he is far away from this land. So come with me to the Euphrates so that you can drink some water because you are very thirsty. 
He says she came with me to the coast When she stood in front of the water and saw it flowing She seemed to be bothered And she began crying while saying How can I drink water when the son of Rasulullah was killed thirsty? It's as if she says How can I drink water when Al Abbas was killed right beside this place? How can I drink water when my brother Abdullah was killed and was not given any water to drink? Hamid ibn Muslim says she didn't drink any water, so I returned her to her aunt and sisters. One last tragedy for the night. Zainab alayhi salam asked Umar bin Sa'd for a tent because they burned the tents of the Imam so they may gather the women and the orphans for this one last night in Karbala when they gave him a tent Zainab gathered the women and the orphans however one person was missing it was Fatima Zuhra the daughter of Imam al Hussein. Lady Zainab came to Lady Um Kulthum asking her about Fatima Fatima Subra, Um Kulthum said to her, Go to the body of Aba Abdullah, she might be there. Zainab alayhi salam stood. Zainab alayhi salam stood and went to the purified body of the Imam in the very dark night. She was tripping over the body parts of the killed soldiers. Just wait a second, let's stop here. Who is this person who's tripping over the body parts of men? Who is this woman who's going alone in the night in the desert? Who is this woman who's going to look for children in the night? This is Zainab alayhi salam. Salam. This was the one who if she wanted to go to the grave of Rasulullah, Ali ibn Abi Talib would be on her right, Al Hassan wal Hussein would be in front of her, and Amir al Mu'mineen would go to the lanterns and take them out and put them out so people wouldn't even see the shadow of Sayyidah Zainab. Where is she on this night? She's tripping over the body parts of soldiers. She goes to the body of Abba. Abdullah. She sees Fatima on the body. She says to her, my name's Fatima, where are you? When she got close to the body of the Imam, she heard someone sing, Father of Hussein, Father of Hussein, who beheaded you? Father who made me an orphan at this age. Zainab scepter is this Fatima. She replied, Yes, my aunt. Lady Zainab said to her, <coughs> Lady Zainab said to her daughter, What has brought you here? Fatima said, Aunt, when the people attacked the camp, the men and the horses frightened me. So I said to myself, I'll go to my father, Abba Abdullah al Hussein. Why, Ya Fatima? Maybe he can protect me from the horses. Maybe he has some life left in him, he can protect me. Maybe I'm able to talk with him a few words before he leaves this world. لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلم العظيم إنا لله وإنا إليه راجعون نسألك اللهم وندعوه بأحب الخلق إليك محمد وآل محمد We ask ya Allah by the right of Muhammad وآل محمد عجل لوليك الفرج والعافية والناس اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد and accept this مجلس from us accept our actions for you يا الله give us sincerity in everything we do يا الله help us in keeping the remembrance of Imam Al Hussein alive in our daily lives يا الله اللهم عجل لوليك الفرج. If anybody has a need, ask it. Now Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will give you. Inshallah. 
اللهم عجل لوليك الفرج والعافية والناس اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد اللهم كن لوليك الحجة ابن الحسن صلاتك عليه وعلى آبائه في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه أرضك طوعا وتمتعه فيها طويلا برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وآله الطاهرين الله صل على محمد وآله